From the largest district attorney's office in the nation, where a thousand lawyers are sworn to prosecute criminal behavior, an email to DA Jackie Lacey, an alarming allegation. I am reporting a crime of sexual assault by one of your deputy district attorneys. This email details how a deputy DA became a whistleblower, alleging sexual harassment of a female coworker by a male supervisor. What's more, in court documents, the whistleblower says that raising the alert has made her a target, writing that, I have cooperated in a county of policy and equity sexual harassment investigation, and because of my cooperation with that investigation, I have been retaliated against. The whistleblower claims that her supervisor was punishing her by giving a better plea deal to a defendant in one of her cases over an African-American defendant in a separate case, prosecutorial misconduct. The attorney for that defendant is alerted and asking questions. I'm not sure exactly where this is going to go, Your Honor. My client appears to be now at this point a pawn in a fight within the district attorney's office about the treatment of some district attorneys, but also the handling of his case. Los Angeles County District Attorney Jackie Lacey denies retaliation against the whistleblower and bias in the plea deals. We just, we checked that out up and down and discovered it just wasn't there. About sexual harassment in the workplace, Lacey says, no question, it exists. She was once a 20-something lawyer facing the men. As a woman in the office, uh, you dealt with it by trying to ignore it, changing your clothing, hoping that it would stop or go away. You personally? Uh, well, sure. Sexual harassment at the DA's office made headlines last year. High-profile deputy attorneys Beth Silverman and Tanaz Mukayev sued the county and their supervisor, Gary Hernsberger. Hernsberger was placed on two years paid administrative leave and then retired. The county paid the two plaintiffs $700,000. Then the Me Too movement from Hollywood to the state legislature. Women aren't going to be silent any longer. But they're willing to come forward and this legislature will investigate. At the DA's office, Lacey says reports of sexual harassment have increased. As for the actions of the whistleblower in reporting it, she praises that. That is courageous to do that because you could, in fact, ignore it, which so many people have done. It's been right under their nose and they've ignored it and gone on and not done anything. A supervisor is currently on paid administrative leave in connection with the whistleblower's complaint of harassment. LAPD says there is no investigation of a criminal sexual assault. Meantime, Lacey says the work of the DA's office is not impacted by the behavior of a few. I by no means want the public to get the impression that justice is in danger by these personnel issues. It is not. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.